So Samsung just launched two new drives, the M.2 and the M SATA version of their 850 EVO. Stick around to find out why you should get one. So as usual we're going to take a look at the box first. Now uh, as usual the box is a little bit um, off so the 3 year warranty I believe is actually a 5 year warranty um, and basically the drive comes as a uh, drive in a plastic box uh, and there's not really much else to say about the box. Now the drive itself is the 80mm drive size which is the longest uh, drive you can get for M.2 but uh, it's still amazingly small especially considering you can get 120 gig, 250 like the one we've got and 500 gig. Uh, drive varieties uh, for the M.2. Comparing it to an SD card that's literally just about the size of two SD cards and it's like in double, well, double the biggest SD card you can get, so that's just insane. Um, it basically slots in. Uh, the three uh, slots are a little bit weird actually. It does only go in one way, so it only goes up with that white label on top. And the way to put it in is basically you take the drive, slide it in at an angle. If you've ever installed SODIM memory in laptops, that's how you do it. You put it in at an angle, it's almost spring-loaded, uh, and you push it down, Put the little, uh, line up the hole, put a little uh, the little screw that the board comes with in. Uh, and then, for me, it was literally just one turn of the screw, and that was uh, locked in nice and tight. Now, we're actually testing this on our standard test bench, which is the Gigabyte uh, Z97MX Gaming 5 board. Um, although it was very difficult to actually get any shots of it in the system with you know coolers and graphics cards so I thought I'd show you it in this board as well just to show you how to install it and all that sort of stuff. Now it is very very cool and it is very very fast. Um, it's actually a uh, SATA M.2 SSD which means that it uses a SATA controller as opposed to the direct PCI bridge that you were sort of hoping for almost. Um, which basically means instead of running at the 10 gigabits per second that M.2 can do, it's actually still running at 6 gigabit per second, just like SATA. Saying that, it is still incredibly fast, and the fact that it's surface mounted, so you can actually have it on the board and not need anything else, means that this is perfect for tight, compact systems, possibly even, you know, just use this as a boot drive and maybe even, you know, a uh, game drive or whatever, um, or even just a cache if you wanted to, to speed up your system. Um, considering that in ATTO you got, uh, or we got basically around about 550 megabits per second, and in um, uh, ASSSD we got just shy of uh, 500. In a real world testing, we actually got between three and four hundred megabits per second, which is really good. Um, and uh, you know, this was copying uh, Battlefield 4. I literally copied the entire game across just to make sure that um, you know, large copy files and smaller files will all copy roughly at the same speed, which they did. Now, um, I basically really like this drive. The pros of this is it's incredibly small. Um, it's great value for money at this point in time, even with the RRP pricing, I would, in my opinion, and the fact that it's surface mount, as I said, makes it great for smaller systems. Realistically, the only con of this is that it isn't the 10 gigabit per second that I was hoping for. Um, you know, with M.2, that's why you kind of buy an M.2 SSD, but be sure that let's face it, whatever the next drive called, probably the 860 EVO, um, is going to be the, uh, the, the full uh, PCI, you know, 10 gigabit per second. Now for value for money it's going to get a 4, uh, mainly because it's not the cheapest in the world but it is still incredible value for money. It's going to get a 4 for performance because I really would have liked to have seen the uh, 10 gigabit per second and for functionality, um, Samsung Magician software is great so we're going to give that a, uh, a 5. For style, um, it's it's an SSD. Um, it is, you know, green PCB so it doesn't quite fit so I'm going to give it a 4. Um, and for texting view score it's going to get a 4 as well. So this is going to get the Worth Money Award. It really is worth your money if you're looking to build a small system and you know you don't really need an extra drive in there or you need a little bit of extra space or even if you've already got a board with M.2 on it um, and you just want to boost that performance and considering this is actually cheaper than the 2.5 inch drive version of the 850 EVO, I would seriously recommend checking this out. If you do have an M.2 slot on your board, this is genuinely amazing and something you should really think about getting um, if you haven't already got that slot popular. Now, as I said, I really do like it and I really do like the size as well. So, yeah, 
do check it out. Now, we do have a written review of this uh, product as well, so please do check that out if you're uh, if you're interested. Let us know in the comments down below if you'd like to see us focus more on, you know, the videos, um, more on the written reviews, because we know that people do, uh, you know, sometimes they don't have the time to watch a video, or even just sometimes, you know, you'd rather watch, uh, uh, read a written review, um, or sometimes, you know, it just can be that you want to read both, because the written review is often a little bit more detailed than the video, because we want to keep it nice and concise and short, and not doing what I'm doing right now, which is blabbering. Um, other than that, um, thanks for watching. Please do let us know in the comments down below what you think about um, the video, the product. If you've got any questions, let them uh, you know. Let us know in the comments down below. And other than that, um, please do subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you like it, and dislike if you dislike it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all in the next video. So thanks for watching this Tech Team GB video. You've probably seen enough of me already, so I'm gonna go away. Right after I say, if you haven't already like or dislike, just let us know why in the comments down below as well. Um, check out some of our other videos. Hopefully there'll be some somewhere around me. And then also, um, feel free to subscribe as well, that really helps us out, um, and yeah, obviously shows companies that you love us. So if you do love us, check us out on Facebook or Twitter, hopefully there will also be some stuff around here maybe. Um, but otherwise that's pretty much it from me, so we'll see you all in the next video.